Hi, I'm David Brunton. Uh, I'm part of the uh, University of Adelaide. I'm currently undertaking my PhD and I'm part of the Weeds Research Group and we're investigating the efficacy of the seed terminator mill on controlling annual ryegrass. We use the susceptible rye because it germinates and we get 90%, 95% establishment in our untreated. Uh, and we get that across this April through to October period. Uh, so we use this because it's the normal winter growing season. So we want to make sure that we mimic everything and all of our treatments are what would normally happen in a field environment. Because if we test this in summer, we're going to influence it in a negative way. And a lot of people might ask the question, oh, why aren't you testing samples from the field? Well, there are a lot of other factors there that you just cannot control. And you can't be confident that it's actually percentage kill or it's just innate dormancy. So the seed has not got to a point where it wants to germinate. So that's why we use susceptible rye. We keep it simple, we keep it efficient, it's repeatable. And most importantly, you're measuring the same thing every time as well. That's the important thing in science. So we, we have a lot of confidence in, in the number of weed seeds that have been controlled or the number of individuals that have, uh, are still viable. We're presented with 100 grams of chaff. So this is our chaff sample, which is prepared. And we separate that across three trays. So we put approximately 30 grams of chaff material. We obviously need controls so that we've got something to compare our treatments to. They're really important because without it, you've, you've got nothing to compare. You don't know what percentage control you've achieved or reduction in viability. So that's how I've always set up experiments. So ultimately, from that perspective, it's been really important for Nick and obviously for the crew who have been developing these new mill configurations. There's a fairly evident repetition here of, of what the key message is, and that is, is that whatever returns to the weed seed bank will next year be selected by herbicides. And we want to try and reduce that.